All right, just wanted to show you guys what the latest is on our solar setup. I have bought a few things to try to make this a little bit more permanent. So I've got a, a box I've purchased and mounted these little meters in here. So we've got an AC meter that's measuring the output of the inverter to the grid. Um, I got this little DC meter. For some reason the camera causes it to flash, but it's actually solid by the naked eye here. Uh, it's reading 28 volts, 15 amps currently from the solar array. This ties over into my shop panel with a number 12 wire just feeding into an existing breaker in there, <clears throat> which basically just puts this power back into the main grid. Same thing as plugging it into a receptacle, but I just wanted to tie it straight in. So a couple things, this little DC meter is pretty neat, but I did have to supply separate DC power for it uh, because it's only rated for like 28 volts and my panels are putting out a little more than that uh, when they're connected. And that's what we got to put up here around here. These people don't know how to put mufflers on their vehicles. <laughs> anyway, so, but I had to run a, I basically found a little you know, this little plug-in adapter that went to a little tool that had a DC volt output of about 12 volts. So that worked fine. I just tied it straight into this guy. So it's powered up by that. And um, so that's the setup in there. I got a 30 amp breaker that's in series with my positive of my panels number 10 wire so it's protected number 10 is rated for 30 amps so should be good there and the little dc meter requires these little shunts that you have to connect your negative through uh, so it reads voltage off of that to calculate the amps but i kind of like the amp reading on the panels just to make sure Everything's good there. So those are our little box up. So that's our setup. So I did, uh, I did make a test. Went out and measured the amps at my main panel. Came back, turned this unit off. With this switch right here. Went back to the main panel and read the amps and seen that direct reduction in current on the grid based on what I was outputting here, which at the time was around three amps. So, yeah, I think this, uh, this is pretty cool. Might, in the future, add another setup here so I can get twice the amount going in. This will never overpower what's currently being drawn in the house, so it'll never be pumping back out to the power lines. This does have a safety feature that cuts off if you lose um, AC power from the grid, so you're not pumping power back into the grid, you know, uh, with the power out. So this thing totalizes the kilowatt hours. Um, so since I put it on, that's what we've done so far. So that's about seven dollars and 69 cent based on 10 cent a kilowatt hour so all right well if i have any more updates i'll let y'all know how this thing holds up and so far so good i'm in Proof we're pumping back into the breach.